Well, hi. It's me, Björn, from East Frisia in northern Germany. My first uh, video in English. Mm. So why is that? It's because <laughs> I received the package today. I received this package. And you see the writing on it? It's from overseas. This package is from my pipe friend, Grandpa Cavendish. And I was very, very happy to receive it. I got it today when I came from work and uh, couldn't wait. I already opened it. But, uh, well, Grandpa Cavendish, thanks a lot. Let me show you what was inside. <clears throat> lots of great tobaccos, lots of great tobaccos. But maybe before I start to show you the tobaccos, let me tell you just a few uh, facts about myself. As I said, my name is Bjorn. In German you pronounce it Bjorn, but I guess in, in English you might say Bjorn. Mm. Uh, I live in the northwestern part of Germany, uh, pretty close to the uh, Dutch uh, border, close to Holland, and uh, close to the North Sea. Um, well, I'm a member of the German pipe community and uh, <clears throat> makes just having a lot of fun doing videos and uh, talking about, especially talking about tobaccos. Not so much about pipes. I, uh, I'm more into tobacco. Mm, I live in a real uh, rural area, like countryside. Lots of, uh, well, there's only cornfields around my house. I live in an old uh, farmhouse and we're here. This building is my uh, shed where I usually um, sit in the evening and smoke my pipe because in the uh, regular house I don't smoke inside there. Mm. Well, but let me show you the tobaccos. I smoke one of them right now. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. What's in my pipe right now is Connell and Deal by you morning. Well, thanks a lot. I al always wanted to try this one. It's a well Virginia Perique uh, blend, and it has uh, like um, Ed wrote in his uh, letter, really nice letter indeed. He writes that. Uh, Contains 25% of Perique, quite a bit. Delicious, really delicious. I like it a lot. But you morning. And what do we got here? Again, Connell and Deal, Pegasus. It's uh, mostly burly. I looked uh, at uh, tobacco reviews. It's mo mostly burly. A bit of uh, Vir uh, Virginia and. Just a touch of uh, black Cavendish. You can see it, it's uh, well, just a little touch of black Cavendish. Burley, nice. Looking forward to that. And uh, what do we have here? Peter Stockerby, Luxury Twist Flake. This one looks really great. I'll show you. Real nice tobacco, looks great and smells smells delicious. There is some there's some uh, honey scent to it and uh, looks great. Looking forward to that too. Really, thanks a lot, Ed. Thanks a lot. Can't thank enough. Well, and this one. Gareth and Hoggart's Glengarry Flake. This one looks fantastic. Quite a bit though. Man. Okay. Real nice flake. It seems to be or should be one of those typical lakeside flakes. And uh, oh yeah. It smells. 
does have that flowery smell to it. That's pretty much uh, like Grandpa Cavendish always said, right up my alley, I guess. I like those uh, kind of soapy, flowery flakes. I will enjoy this one. Thanks a lot. Very generous, very generous. Quite a bit of it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, what do we have here? We have got... Oh yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Vincent Manil, this uh, pure Zemois, something like that. This is that uh, tobacco from Belgium. Uh, Grandpa Cavendish made a video, uh, I don't know, three, four, five weeks ago. I, uh, and uh, the misty one, it's uh, translated. I have to uh, watch that video again and then try this one. Uh, that should be really interesting came from Belgium to New York and now it comes back to Germany pretty close to Belgium again pretty <laughs> pretty neat <laughs> okay and uh, the last one this is uh, well let me tell you a story about this um, I started to write uh, emails to Grandpa Cavendish <clears throat> and he uh, wrote emails back or he com uh, com uh, did comments on my videos and uh, I always ask him to uh, do another one of his uh, cooking videos of his uh, in the kitchen with grandpa uh, uh, videos uh, I always uh, enjoy watching those I, I think they are big uh, big fun real big fun and um, he always uh, writes me emails and uh, asking what I uh, like to do cooking or I um, I like cooking a lot but I also uh, do a lot of bit, uh, a lot of barbecue and uh, so I sent him a couple of pictures of uh, things I did on my barbecue and he uh, sent me pictures back and so forth and uh, now although he knows that I uh, not exactly into Latakia he sent me this Rose of Latakia uh, from McClellan. It's a closed tin, so thank you a lot. I am very excited about this one. He writes that it's a very, very smooth and not, um, well, not so strong Latakia. It doesn't have too much Latakia in it. So, and he writes, uh, or he wonders what uh, kind of uh, barbecue I will do with uh, well, combining this uh, uh, Latakia blend. Well, and Ed, let me tell you, I have been thinking about it, uh, and uh, I promise I will uh, make another video of uh, me at my barbecue, at my grill, and uh, smoke this one. This is uh, Latakia, and uh, Latakia is kind of an English style. That's what I think. It's an, like English. English blend, English style. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I should do a little barbecue and uh, do it like an, my interpretation of an English breakfast. But I'll do it on a barbecue. I've been thinking about this and I, I think it uh, will turn out pretty good. Give me a couple of days to uh, prepare it or s s get it all set and uh, maybe uh, do a little try or give it a try for, by myself uh, first and then I'll make a video of it. I'll make an English video of this because I'm so uh, glad or very happy you sent me all this tobacco. So uh, I promise I'll make another uh, barbecue video in English uh, and well, smoke this tobacco. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching. Greetings to the um, American uh, pipe smokers. I um, watch quite a few of, uh, of your videos too. I don't comment very often, um, but uh, I watch them and know I know most of uh, the members and uh, always big fun and I know there is a real real big uh, community over there
well you might uh, comment on this video or other videos and um, I will always uh, answer in English no problem and as uh, Grandpa Cavendish always says even though some videos or most of the videos are in uh, German you might always pick up a word here or a word there and get the sense of it anyway so um, well thanks a lot and uh, I'll be back uh, with my installment of <laughs> Björn at the barbecue thank you very much <laughs>